<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck. We play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're playing Noble Knight Toolbox. That's right, Noble Knights, the off maligned archetype that continually gets support and has always been kind of underwhelming. And I'm not gonna lie, I have not broken the Noble Knight code. Uh, th this is not some great deck, but it was made more as like a challenge to myself, more of an experiment to see what I could do with Noble Knights, to make the best Noble Knight deck I could do. And I think I did a pretty good job there. It, it's, it's mediocre at best, it's not really meta relevant, but it does work, it can OTK, and it is kind of fun to play. So if you want a more modern build, one that focuses on swarming and takes advantage of the Link Monster as all day, uh, you can't go wrong with this build. And it's worth noting that they are supposed to get more support in the next main set. So three months from now, there'll be more support. And maybe it'll make this a little bit better. You can use this as a frame and add some of that new cards onto it. Now, if you just want the deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate shorter video there. I'll go over everything in here and explain how it works. Otherwise, in this video, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you all the combos, and hopefully... We'll have a little fun. Ahoy hoy, welcome to the first duel. Versus D, perhaps die, and he just forgot the I, hard to say. And we're going first, which is what you want to do with this deck. And we've got a hand that'll allow us to do some things. So first of all, Noble Knight Brothers, normal summon this. Let you summon up to two Noble Knights from your hand. Oh hey, how's it going? Nice to see you there. And now that we've got two, we're going to go ahead and make Isold of the Noble Knight. So we're going to use Kustanin, because if he's used as material, you can normal summon another Noble Knight. Which we don't have, but we will be drawing a card, so hopefully that'll work. Unless this gets negated. It got negated. Oof. Um, that's fine, I can still activate the other effect, which is the more important one. Send any number of equipped cards from your deck to the graveyard. Two, three, all the good ones, and a random one. And then summon a monster from your deck. Um, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to pick this one because it's just going to be used as material. It has two effects. You negated one. But Ash doesn't negate the monster. Just the effect. There you go. So, Noble Knight Brothers, in addition to summoning things, you can... Shuffle three Noble Knight or Arms cards from your graveyard into the deck. We're going to pick that one random Noble Arms with the two monsters we use to draw a card. And we didn't draw a Noble Knight, so we don't get another Normal Summon. But that's fine. We're just going to go ahead and make Argatorgus. When he's summoned, you can equip three Noble Arms from your graveyard. Boop. Boop, boop, and actually we probably should have sent one other than Excaliburn, because we already had an Excaliburn. Could have sent that back. Um, there are, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and save it. And this one gives him a thousand attack, but he lowers by 200 during your standby phase. Uh, this prevents it from being targeted by effects. And this one says if it would be destroyed once, it is not destroyed. So is this a great opening? Not really. You've got a, quite a bit of protection. They can't destroy it, really. They can't target it. Um, well, they can't. They have to destroy it twice, essentially. But they can destroy it. And it's got a sizable 3,000 attack. Of course, the, the big thing they're weak... Ooh, pardon me. The big thing they're weak against, Kaijus... They really need a, a sword that says it can't be tributed. That would be nice, and maybe if it gave some other ones. I've always said that, like, you know, these, these equip cards really need to give some attack boosts in addition to their effects. That would have been really helpful. Even if it was just, like, 200 or something, having these go up to, like, 26 would be a, a, a little bit more significant. Um, but that's fine. And yeah, you actually want it, even though you don't really have any negates, you don't have a solid first turn kind of board here, uh, you do want to go first just because it'll help you establish some things while drawing some cards. As it stands, like, if you try to go second and play through a bunch of people's negates, it's not going to work out very well for you. 
All right, so let's see what he can do. He's got this. He's got... He's playing the new Alistair. With the Meltdown Invoker, which just came out in Shadows of Valhalla. I need to make another Invoked deck at some point. I got, I got a couple ideas I'm working on, though. Probably talk about those later in the duels. So, I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to... No, he doesn't have a Mech Knight in the graveyard, so he can't... What he's going to try to do is pop this, and then he can attack it with Mechaba and discard Alistair and destroy it. This is destroyed. This is one of the main things is that, uh, in general, like, you, you kind of have to make Isolde, but Isolde has no protection and isn't really all that great. Oh yeah, he can't target it, so he has to target himself. I forgot about that. Okay, I'm safe after all. I was so busy explaining everything, I forgot that my own effects prevent me from being... I forgot that this targets. It's so weird, because it not only does it have to destroy the thing in the column, but it targets as well. Which seems kind of weird to me. Oh, and then he's going to invocate again. A double invocation. But I'm pretty sure he's just got light stuff. No, he's got fire. But I don't think I have enough monsters for that. The pyro one to really be... Is that going to be able to get over this? If he goes for Isolde first, he's not going to be able to. Because it goes up by... Oh, wait, no, he will still. Darn. Oof. But I won't be killed this turn. Wait, did it attack again? All right. So he attacks that, and then he's got to discard his... his Alistair if he wants to get over it. The thing is, a lot of the, these Noble Knights, have, these Noble Arms cards have a lot of text. A lot of people don't read them. So they attack it, they see the destiny come up, and they just think that it can't be destroyed by battle, and it's no, just the first time. He could totally get rid of it if he discards his Alistair. If he has his Alistair. I, I don't know, he doesn't actually. Yeah, so... Arcturagus remains. Now, the real question is, am I going to be able to do the things I want to do. Um, I think so. But I'm going to have to get rid of this first because if he negates it, I'm going to be in for a sad state of affairs. Um, so let's go ahead, attack this. Stop his negation, or it'll get him to use his Alistair. Okay, good. Negation is gone. So, what we're going to do... Goblinberg, sailing the Goblantic! Summon a Rescue Bunny! Aha! Rescue Bunny tag out! Never mind! Oof! Oof's ahead! And that does piercing damage. Alright. Well then, what I'm going to do... is cry a little bit. Just a little bit. I could make that, but that wouldn't get me anything. Yep, because I'm going to take a lot of damage. But it's fine. What I can do, actually, we'll detach one of these. You can detach to blow up any as many spell cards as you have Noble Arm. So we're going to blow up that, just to prevent things. We're going to blow up this and Excalibur. All the Noble Arms cards, when they're destroyed, they re-equip themselves to a Noble Knight on the field. So you reset his attack by doing that. This has an effect in the graveyard, not the same turn you activated it. But we have an extra copy, so I'm just going to do that. So he's back up to 3,000. He's still immune to targeting. That is pretty much useless, so I'm just... This is a one-of. It lets you destroy face-down spell traps, which he doesn't have any of. And he's just got another one. So I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. Perhaps even all the damage? Yeah, I might be doomed here. Sadly, this deck loses pretty hard to uh, hand traps. Ash Blossom, as you saw on the like Rescue Rabbit, can be pretty brutal. Uh, on the Azolde, if he uses it on the second effect that lets you summon out of the deck, it can be pretty brutal. 
And there's a couple other things I haven't shown it yet. But if if that if the rescue rabbit had gone off, we have a an Ixie that lets you return like several monsters to the hand. So I would have been able to like get rid of this and this. And just sort of do some things. As it stands, I think I might die just because this goes into defense mode. This does piercing. Unless he forgets about the piercing and attacks it, or unless he doesn't think he can get over this. Alright. That was a weird thing to do. Um, let's see here. Um, and you can only... Con well, okay. Let's see. It loses exactly 500, so I won't be able to get over that. Um... Let's equip that to him. We'll use this effect. I'm going to pop that face down. It'll lower my attack by 500, but I don't think I can get over this anyway because he has the other Alistair. Unless he negates it. If he negates it, that would actually be great for me. And unfortunately, I can't be destroyed, but I can be banished, which is what that does, is destroy... Oh, okay. He's just prepared. Okay, and I have that, but I can't... Oof. Oof in time. Um, let's just go ahead and attack this. Yeah, I probably should have tried to bait out the, the Alistair. Because I can do this, but I know he has one in his hand. So he can negate the monster effects I would try to activate. But I can at least move this into attack mode so I take less damage. And... Yep, that's it. And this is where Noble Knights, really, they're, they're really kind of combo-oriented. If you just have one monster, you're not going to be doing much. I try to send as many things as I can to the graveyard, but it don't work very well. Oof. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't attack last time. And yep, I think that's done. I think there's... Unless I get Rescue Rabbit, but he can just negate it. Yeah, I guess I should have tried to bait out the Alistair. Then I might have been able to do something. What? What was that? Oh, did he attack with the wrong one? Yep, and there it goes. Noble Knights cannot stand up against a Mech Knight, or what was it? Sky Striker Invoked. What a surprise. But anyway, let's go ahead into the second... Why did I mark that down as a win? Mark that down as a... Let's go into the second duel. <laughs> All right, here we are. Second duel brought to you by Patreon sponsor Brian Bruns. He's been donating a lot from the background. A quiet donator. But I thank him. Thank him down in the comments as well. If you feel like it. You don't have to. Some people, I've had one person complain that the shoutouts in every duel are getting really annoying. Let me know what you think. I try to keep them pretty short, pretty concise, but it's hard to say. Um, either way, any any time you start out with brothers, you're in a pretty good you're a pretty good ordeal. Um, and we're actually gonna go this and Custanin. Hello, is it me you're looking for? So, any two warrior monsters can be used to make a Zolde, that's why we play Junk Forward. It's just a warrior that you can special summon. That effect that just activated was custom in. If it's used for material for a Noble Knight, you get an extra normal summon of a Noble Knight. I mentioned that. When this is summoned, you get to add a card from your deck to your hand, but you can't use its effects this turn. So we're just going to get Goblinberg, because no matter what level 4 we get, that's an instant rank 4. We're going to do the same thing we've did before. One of all the good spell traps and one random one. And we're going to go ahead and summon out uh, another Brothers, actually. But this one in defense mode. 
I'm going to use this effect again. Oh, but we need three. Um, I forgot that we used the junk forward. That's fine. We don't need a thousand extra attack. We'll be fine. Yeah, we got that anyway, so it worked out. Let's go ahead and make this guy. And then there's a couple different things we can do here. Um, let's see. Equip those two. We get another normal summon, so we get this. We can either leave this on the field, and then we have a 2400 wall. We have this guy, when a card's equipped to him, you destroy something. So if they destroy one of the equips, it equips to him from the graveyard, and then you get to pop something on their turn. Or we could make our defensive guy, who if it gets destroyed, we get to summon a Noble Knight from our extra deck. Uh, I think considering we only have the three equip cards, I'm just going to... We're going to equip this to his old, so it'll have a little more defense. That gives it 500. Also, once per turn, you can gain 500. And there we go. We have a sizable field. Again, Noble Knights really need a card that helps them negate something, helps them have some disruption, because they don't really. All they have is some protection. And this kind of, like, the closest, this is why we play Dryston. he's the closest thing to disruption we have. But even then, it kind of relies on your opponent not reading. Um, and it kind of makes it, like, it, it's one of those things, like, if they can only get rid of two cards, they have to decide between Azold, who's going to be able to summon another level 4 out of the deck next turn. But if they kill Azold before Tri Dryston... Then this will go to the graveyard, it'll equip to him, destroy something on their side of the field, and he'll have more attack. Same thing, you don't want to keep this around, because this is getting rid of all your spell traps, can't be targeted. And this, of course, is giving you more, more cards back. So if they destroy everything but not this, then I'll have three cards, more than three cards in the graveyard I can shuffle and draw. So that's what this deck is kind of about. It's more of like a resource kind of game. And then the next turn, depending on what he makes, we have access to this guy who destroys all spell traps, and we have access to the guy we haven't made yet, King Kustinin. Kustinin? I'm going to call him Kustinin, who can send multiple cards back to the hand. So he's, he's our monster removal, essentially. So if he makes a board of, like, a Boral Load and some, or I guess this target's... Unfortunately, this targets not Boral Load, uh, I don't know. what What's strong, but not Boral Load strong? Beals? If he makes the thing with Beals and uh, Galaxy Tomahawk, sure, then I can send those back. Oh, hey, Whites. I haven't seen, he's pretty fly for a white guy. Dun, 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 dun. And he's playing Allure of Darkness, which, granted, he already used as normal. Wait, what did you just... Oh, you're just gaining me a level. Dryston goes to level 5. I actually do have level 5s. A lot of the, uh... A lot of the, the old-school Noble Knight decks kind of work on making this guy. He can destroy monsters by detaching. Uh, I don't really have a way to make him on my own. But this, uh, Excalibur, if this is in the graveyard except the turn it was sent there, unfortunately. Uh, you can banish it to summon a Noble Knight on top of a Noble Knight. Oh, boy. Well, there goes Goblinberg. At least I don't have anything good in the graveyard. So there's an oof, but most likely he's going to get rid of this because it's the one thing that can't, that's, that's big and brutal. But then I'll have this in the graveyard for next turn. And that thing I said would happen is going to happen. Uh, let's equip that to this. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot this one doesn't equip from the graveyard. For some reason, I was like, I'll equip that. Okay. I should have equipped that to that, and I would have blown up. I'm making mistakes. This deck's kind of complicated. My apologies. Who knows what he'll do. Granted, at this point, it's probably better to just leave Trishula there, because then his extra monster zone is being used up. 
He has to link it away if he wants to make any more extra deck things. And because he used Unizombie, he can't attack with Trishula this turn. And Unizombie can't beat over anything. At least I'm pretty sure... No, he didn't use he didn't use Unizombie this okay. Alright. Well yeah, I guess I stopped him from making a rank seven or le level seven synchro. Now he's just got things sitting out here. Yeah, also what was this thing can't attack unless you control exactly three noble knights and no other monsters. Which kinda sucks. It's weird, I I would have thought that it would have been three or more. But no, if you control four noble knights, this guy's like, I don't know about attacking. There's a lot of people here. I'm kind of, I'm kind of shy. I, I like to have exactly those three people. And you know, I could get that if this had a high amount of attack. That's the thing about noble knights: just strange restrictions for no reason at times. Granted, it still summons two from the the hand. It's still an instant link three. If you wanted to make Link 3s, normally you don't. I think the only Link 3 we have is just, what, Summon Sorceress? Oh no, we've got Nightmare Unicorn. Although, yeah, if you if you use that effect, you can't summon for the rest of the turn except for Noble Knights. So you're kind of screwed a little bit. Alright, he made Boralode. That was the thing I was kind of afraid of. You're gonna lower his old? Uh, okay. Don't care. Not one bit. Perfect. Um, okay, so first of all, what do we got in this grave? Yeah, let's just send all three of those monsters back into the deck. And draw a card. Hey, Arctorgus, that guy's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to think. I guess we could make Boral Load, steal Boral Load. Um, it'd be better if we could use Noble Knight stuff. Or I could just run over it with Utopia the Lightning. Um, hmm. Either way, let's go ahead. I already have one of those. Put that in there. Yeah, because I could go up to like 33, but I wouldn't be able to attack. Um, Select monster to special summon. Yeah, we're just going to get another brothers. <laughs> brothers, come to me. And we're going to shuffle some things back. Most of the things, actually. Just draw engine. Drawing the movie, the game. Still haven't normal summoned. Great. You can only control one of... You don't want to draw your cards, but you got your equip cards, but you got to play a lot of them. Um, Alright, I can still make... Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Normal summon Arctorgus. Doop, doop, doop. Yo, what's up? And then these are just going to equip to Arctorgus. Little Arctorgus. There's like several Arctorgus. Both the Ixies are named Arctorgus. Um, okay. And we're going to give him that too. So he's going to be even bigger than, than, than this guy. Okay, so we're going to... I wanted to hit attack, but that's fine. Boral load counters Boral load. Yep, that's that's unfortunate. But it's okay. I'm still going to hit him for 5000. Unless he's got a battle fader, you wouldn't be playing battle fader zombies, would you? Yep, and he'd be down to 700 if I didn't goof. If I didn't hit activate instead of... 
Welcome to Misplays, the episode. I hope you don't mind. Like I said, that's the, the weird thing about Noble Knights. Like, they're not really that good, but they're surprisingly difficult to play. But that also means they're surprisingly, like, fun to play, at least for me. There's a lot of times in when you're doing this deck and you have the option to make, like, two or three plays. And that's, that's what I really love, is the choices that you get to make. With so many decks, they're really linear, where it's like, there's one optimal thing you could do, or, yeah, there's one optimal play you could make. And that sort of makes it less interesting to play, even if it's sometimes more fun to just, like, know what you need to do and do it. Uh, with this, I feel like this deck actually gets better. Well, mo most toolbox decks do. It gets better when you go into matches, because once you know what your opponent is playing, then you can make the decisions about what to do based on, like, tactics. Like, what you know they have the ability to do and don't do. 5,000. Alright, let's lower him by a lot. By at least a thousand, so I'll take less damage. But there's Boral Load, and then this'll be destroyed. Or it'll go to the graveyard. Because that's how Boral Load works. Um... Gain 500. Um... Oh yeah! You can special summon this if you control a Noble Arms. It's not particularly useful, but it exists. Um, and yeah, we're just going to make Little Custonin. Or not Little Custonin, this guy. And then all the Noble Arms will re-equip. Oh, and he just surrendered. Oh yeah, because I would have won. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to plan out things. I forgot I got him down to 1700 already. Yeah, this guy can detach to send monster cards back to your opponent's hand equal to the number you atta detached. Because you can use any number of noble arms. So I send this back. He gets equipped with 1,500, so he's up to 3,000, and then you just attack directly. So there's one win. We got at least one with noble knights. So let's go ahead into the third duel. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. Third duel brought to you by Patreon sponsor Skilled Summoner. No one summons as skillfully as he does. Against De King Regen Renegade, De King Renegade. He's a Renegade King, which doesn't doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Playing Trick Stars. I'm more of a king than you are. You're just a bunch of dancing girls. No dancing girl was ever king. Not unless they swapped genders, or pretended to be a, a boy, man, whatever. I don't care. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be waiting, probably. He's gonna do some combos. You know, we'll just be back. This has already been kind of a longish episode. <laughs> Alright, and how many, uh... How many things am I gonna get burned for? A lot, or not very many? Set. Set. Alright. Um, let's see... Okay, Madrat. Here we go. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Madrat. He's being taunted by a spooky a spooky ghost, but it looks like something out of a Disney movie. And this is where we actually get to use this thing. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because it's like our fear dear I guess I did just try to pronounce it. But destroy a face down, lower that monster's attack by what is it? 500 permanently even if this card leaves the field i believe yep which again seems seems like a weird up uh oh but wait wait i don't have oh i have effects while i'm oofed i actually would have been better if i had, if i had equipped him with this um hmm Yep, that actually sucks. That sucks quite a lot. Because I was hoping its effect is when it's equipped with a monster or a spell card. 
uh, a noble arms, you can send it to the graveyard and summon one from the deck. So I was hoping I could get Dreisten, equip it, blow up something. As it stands, I just suck. Uh, and I could try to activate it. I don't think it would work. I'm too oofed. Yep. Alright then. And this lowered my attack to 12, so I can't withstand anything. And that'll go to the grave, but that's fine-ish. Anytime you start with two normal monsters, not good. But you gotta play you gotta play all three of them because we play the rescue rabbit. And if you just played two for the rabbit, then if you open with even one, all your rabbits become dead. It's very rare that you'll open with two of the same card, but when it does happen, it's just one of those oofs. But yeah, normally what you do, it's I think it's if you control uh no other monsters, yeah. So you have this, you equip it with something. You summon something from out of the deck, destroy the equip, and of course, because it's destroyed, it just becomes re-equipped. So, I would just get, again, Dreisten, or there's another one that lets you destroy an equip and destroy a monster your opponent controls and draw a card. So I would have done things. Just the infinite and permanent. I didn't even think to equip him with Sc Excalibur, and I probably should have. I just didn't think there, I didn't think there would be an impermanence, and I believe this is OTK territory. So yeah, I'm just going to mark this one down as a loss. Unfortunate trick stars. Hopefully, I believe they won Worlds. I didn't really check out Worlds all that much this uh, this year. So no idea what they what, what actually happened. But I believe trick stars won. So hopefully we'll see a hit on the ban list for trick stars. I know I would like that because I don't like trick stars. Uh, comment in the comments if you like trick stars. If you want, I don't know. We'll be back. I think I'm dead, though. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Fourth duel. And this is brought to you by a strange request. It's, uh, someone wanted me to shout out their friend's channel. His name is Ryuza, the Vanguard Royal Paladin. And apparently he makes both Vanguard and Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And I checked it out. And honestly, I, I didn't think that much of it. But, you know, some people really like those tiny, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! channels. If you want to support someone who's just getting started out, uh, he could definitely use some support. So go go check that out, if in you're interested. Again, we start with the brothers. We go into Azold. Azold gets us a thing. Hopefully we don't get hit by Ghost Ogre. Nope, but again, they use Ghost Ash on the wrong effect. So, doop, 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 and doop. Doop frog. The doopinest frog around. Um, we'll just summon... I guess Gwen. I don't really have anything. I'm just trying to think of what I need, the, what I would like to top deck the least. And again, we'll shuffle those two and this one back into the deck. Draw a card. Because we get that extra normal summon. Only of a noble knight, though. Um, and again, I started with this, so I should have done the other one. Uh, a goof on my part. And I think we're just going to hold on to this, even though we've got that extra normal summon. So I probably I could have had 500 extra attack and 500 extra life points because I already had one of these and you can only control one sadly. I think it would have been better if they said you can only equip like a monster can only be equipped with one copy of this. But no, they didn't want you to have two noble knights with that can't be destroyed. Too cheap, they said. Because it would have been nice if I could have protect Isolde and also keep this. I don't know if anyone wants to. If anyone wants to just keep a running tally of all the misplays I've made, I don't really feel like. I feel like I would become too depressed trying to make a counter of my own. But if you want to count them all up down in the comments, I'll I'll certainly see it. Welp. It's one of the few things that this can't really get over. 
That non-targeting banishment. Oh, well, never mind. I'll just take 10,000. Good old Grand Maju de Iser. Letting people without skill win since 1997. <laughs> All right, here we are, the fifth duel. Brought to you by Patreon sponsor, the Instagram at Daniel Frowsing. Which again, has, has cheerleader flips and stuff. So, you know, if you're interested in seeing flips and tumbles, check that out. Or if you like Instagram, I, I, I don't know anything about Instagram, but we've got a, got a pretty got great hand as long as Gob Lindbergh doesn't get negated. Come on, Lindbergh. Summon me a rabbit. Woo! Now we can use Rescue Rabbit. The effect will actually go off. Summon two of these Artorguses. Gwayne is like, if you control a light normal monster, you could just special summon him from your hand. And already, we got so many monsters. You want to make sure to use Goblinburg to make his old? Because you can't use it to make any of the Noble Knight Ixies. Um, what do we add to hand? Um, brothers, actually, because we'll be able to use this next turn. We'll get the four. And we have none in hand this time. So I can't make a mistake, and we're going to get Kustinin. Kustininin. Because he will give us an extra normal summon. If he is used for the material of a summon. And he is about to be used as the material for a summon. Let's summon that. So we'll get that extra normal summon. Let's equip this. And this. And this. Just in case we're playing Noble Knights. Gain 500 life points. They got that extra normal summon. You can't summon brothers because the thing to this adds, you can't normal summon again. Um, but we'll just go ahead and put out Medrat. And then since we have two more monsters, we'll just go ahead and make this. Because if this is destroyed by your opponent, then you get to summon another Noble Knight Ixie from your deck. And since we have that fourth card... We'll be able to give it a thousand attack when it's summoned, and if he gets rid of- Fuck, man, shit! I don't know fuck about anything! The one time I get a great opening, I gotta go up against Kaijus with Kai Kaitu Waterfront and everything? Bullshit! That's like my what? It's like my biggest weakness! How many pure Kaiju decks are there? Yeah, I guess if you wanted to, you could play Pot of Desires in this deck. You really don't want to be banishing your Noble Arms, because that's how you get all your advantage, is shuffling them back into the deck. So, I get one, and he gets one. But I can use the effects if he's dumb. Nope, he's not dumb. Um, let's see. Yep, let's just summon this. And when it's summoned, I can equip it with one of these. Granted, he could just destroy this and then tribute over it. You can attack three times. Three attacks on monsters. You can't... Oh, he can get over that. Okay. Well, excuse me. And you can attack this twice to try to get rid of it. If he felt like it. And Eater of Millions! What is this, my birthday? This is just the greatest... It's just everyone's... I did... I didn't do the goo! I didn't spit! I don't know! Another Grand Majudizer? <coughs> Why even? You just attack this! You already got all the things. Oh, and I've already not destroyed once. Fucking Grand Ma You didn't even need the Kaijus! You could have attacked for 10,000 over everything! 
Literally all you need is Eater of Millions and Pot of Desires, and you got an instant 10,000 attack. I guess he did need other stuff, because I had 3,000. Uh, it's, it's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Not looking good at all. But let's go into the third one. And not the third one. Let's go into the middle thing. Oh, hey. Hi, guys. Hard Leg Joe here. This is normally when I do a, like a Patreon thing to let people know that I got a Patreon because this is an ad-free channel. Patreon's the main way I make my money. Uh, I'm not really feeling it today, though. As I've, I'm not liking all these Grand Majus and these Trick Stars. It's making me... I'm a little salty. I, d I don't feel like I've earned the money. I, d I don't feel like this this deck is doing all that great. But you know what? We're here anyway. So if you're finding this entertaining, or you know if maybe you just want the sleeves, because those sleeves turned out pretty nice. You can get all that in my Patreon. You want to shout out at the beginning of a, a duel? That's on the Patreon. There's a whole bunch of stuff on there. Check it out, I guess. Uh, either way, let's just jump right on back to that duel and hope for the love of God... I don't see another fucking Grand Maju de Isa because I'm going to shit my fuck if I do. And that's too many curse words for YouTube to handle, so I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Here we are. Six duel. I've taken a little break. I'm feeling a little better about this. I think we can bring it back. We're going against King Adber. Some Something like that. And we, we've got a workable hand. I mean, we've got... I'll remember not to send Excalibur in this time. That'll be a thing. Um, oh, but wait, wait. Mm, okay, I think we can do this. Okay, so. Normal summon Goblinburg. Goblinburg's like, hey, I'm going to go into defense, and then I'm going to summon Dreisten. Dreisten doesn't know what he's doing here, but that's fine, because it's going to be used to make Isolde. Or Isold. And let's go ahead... You're gonna Ash Blossom it. It's been hit by Ash Blossom a lot. I mean, if you want to Ash Blossom it, I'm not gonna... You wouldn't be the first, you probably won't be the last. Now, if you want to Ghost Ogre it, then I'm gonna be sad. Okay, good. I'm going to go ahead and get this for a recovery play, because we're not going to summon it. What we're gonna do... We're going to send this, and this, and not that, but these two instead. Okay. Yeah, what I would have done is summoned out a, um, whatchamacallit, a, uh, a normal monster, and then I could have special summoned this, and then I could have made, uh, the, the big Argtorgus and got all the things. Oh, and I'm playing against Sky Strikers, too. This is just, this is just not my week, I tell you what. This, uh, I'm going to have to make sure the next episode is much, much better. Although I shouldn't be focusing on the next episode now. I should be doing this while I'm doing this. Sky Striker everything. I should mention, you probably, instead of playing, uh, I'm playing Mirror Forces in here. I was going to say, like, you know, maybe play uh, Called by the Grave instead to help you against the, the hand traps. Because, yeah, the hand traps on a Zolde can be pretty brutal. Uh, but at the same time, I've yet to draw a Mirror Force, so even if I had swapped them out for Called by the Grave, I would not have drawn them once this entire time. Again, maybe you could put in, uh, what, 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 what's it called? That, uh, Pot of Desires to get more cards, even more cards to draw, but then that could have been Ash and I might not have had. If one of these, one of the monsters, like if this monster was instead a, uh, a, a Desires. Well, granted, I could have drawn into two more monsters. It's just, you risk, you risk, uh, losing, like, all the copies of your, your Noble Arms, because I only play two copies of each at the most. And so if you lose both of them, you have to send ones with different names, and then your Azolde can be completely, uh, unable to be used, which is sad. This is so sad. Can we play Despacito? No? Copyright? Okay, well then. That's that's fine. But hopefully, maybe he won't have a second one. Although, I think I saw him grab Infinite and Permanent, so he probably has that. 
So he could set that and then an infinite impermanence on brothers. He's just going to be so sad. I am just not going to be able to do the things that I want to do. Get a start up engage and draw even more cards. Oh hey, I got my mirror force, although that wouldn't help me for infinite impermanence. Um Summon it over here just in case. Yeah. You gonna negate? No? Alright. Hey. That's pretty neat. Um, what do I have in here? Too many things? Oh yeah, you better believe there's too many things in there. Okay, let's go. Um, put his old back, put this back, and put this back. Draw a card. Hey, Kustanin, alright. Um... We're going to activate that on him, and then we can special summon the Kustinim. Yo, what's up? I'm a Kustinim. Um, hmm. I don't get to draw, but at least that's defense mode. Let's just go ahead. Yep, let's go for the gold, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Oh, wait, no. This one, then that. One. Yes, I want to equip another one. Two. Yes, I want to equip another one. Three. Is this... Was this not infinite impermanence? All right. And now he can't be targeted. Hot diggity daffodil. Um, let's see... And actually, yeah, I have so many things. Let's just go ahead and detach and kill everything. What was that? Oh, it was just mecha drones. These have effects when they're destroyed. Oh, he just shuffles back. Duh, all right. I probably should have destroyed one of these, too, so I could set my mirror force, but I guess it's fine. I've got a thing that's going to be pretty difficult for him to out, unless he's got kaijus. So there's that, and if he summons another Sky Striker thing, unless it's the wind one, I'll have the ability to, uh... To make another uh, extra deck monster. Assuming I draw a monster, which I should because this deck is mostly monsters. And next turn I can detach to get rid of one of my equip cards and put the, the mirror force down. It's very rare that you get five equipped to him. I don't know why I did this one. This one's probably the most redundant. That's why we just played it one. I got it at first, I was like, he has a set card, I can get rid of it. And then I'm like, or I could just detach with this and get rid of everything. Well, you can kill Custon in if you want. I guess that's a thing. Granted, they've got the, the, the fiery... They've got the spell trap that can destroy without targeting. So that gets around this, although it doesn't get around Noble Arms of Destiny. Yep, I wonder, I didn't, again, I didn't look at the World Championship. I'm not sure if Sky Strikers got hit, but hopefully they'll be hit soon. You can also destroy one of my spell traps. Oh, he does have to target. All right. Now he can target. If he has another one or a way to recover it. And this, okay, I've got a zone there. Granted, I don't have enough... I need two monsters to be able to do something, so unless I get Rescue Rabbit, I'm pretty much just sitting on this guy. Damn, using Engage. Why couldn't these be hard once per turns? I would have liked if they could be once per turns, please. That would be nice. Either way, we'll be back when he's done doing things. 
I don't think he's gonna be able to accomplish anything right now. <laughs> Summon Phoenix? But why? What do you think? What do you what do you plan to do with that? It's it's not gonna be easy. You can destroy this. This lets you attack directly, by the way. It can be used to steal games in the end game, but I rarely I didn't really make a whole deck around it. And then chain that. Okay. You just want to get Ray in the graveyard. And then what? You've got no arrows pointing down. I guess you could use this to make a Link 3. Yep. Or Link 4, Boral Load. Boral Sword. Quick effect. Change one attack position monster to defense position. Well, it's a good thing I got Mirror Force. Although, most likely he's going to be able to go through like a million things and then grab his stuff that lets him destroy my back row. And I'm not going to be liking that. And then he gets to set a whole bunch of stuff. Just a dang old whole bunch of cards. <laughs> Alright then. Your move, holy man. What can do? Link monsters can't go into defensive mode. Maybe he'll deck out. It's unlikely, but maybe it'll happen. Or maybe he'll make a toad, because that's apparently what this deck is trying to do? I don't know. He destroyed a back row. All right, but he didn't get both of them. So he gets hit with a mirror force. But I believe if Ray gets destroyed, he can do other no. He can activate that during the battle phase. All right. Why would you need to chain those during the battle phase? Either way, he's won. Yeah, we'll just go ahead. I'll mark that down as a loss. If I happen to make a comeback of some kind, I'll be back. But I don't think that's going to happen. I can't beat Sky Strikers with Noble Knights. What a surprise. <laughs> Alrighty then. The seventh duel versus Zero Luck. Which describes how I feel today. But we're going up against Blue Eyes, which we have a slightly better chance against. Granted, they can banish our spell traps, and we don't want our spell traps banished. But at least it's a slower deck. It's not something that's going to negate us to high heaven. Or even to high hell. It'll, it'll negate a little bit at a time. We're going to go ahead and get our brothers. Come to me. Go to the door. And hope there's no hand traps. Do 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 do, cause hand traps would suck. There's a hand. Okay, no, there's not. Okay. Yo, what's up? Gwen's here too. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put this on Dryston. Dryston's gonna be like, ah, I got something equipped to me. Destroy. Cause he gets he gets easily spooked. That's just that's just how Dryston is. I mean, what can I say? Same old thing. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Let's go like that and try to chain block, even though I don't think that'll work. We'll equip that. The most useless. Um. And I guess we're summoning... Oh, wait, no. It's adding to our hand. So, yeah, we're gonna go for Goblindberg. Because, again, it's it's useful with pretty much any level 4. And then for summoning, we're just going to summon whatever the hell we feel like. Uh, we've got one of those already, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's go ahead 
Yeah, we're just gonna get Madrot out of here. Hello, my name is Madrot. It's nice to meet you. And let's go ahead and just shuffle back. Dreisten, you're back in the game. And so is the attack directly thing. Because I believe we can get up over 3,000 and just give them the old anus poke. Um, which is illegal in many places. You don't want to do that normally to dragons, but in this situation, it's A-OK. -okay. Well, there goes my oof. I oofed when I shouldn't have oofed. Uh, but it's okay. we still got equipped cards. I believe we've got equipped cards. How many are left in the graveyard? So we've got three, four, five, six. Okay, so we still have exactly four left. So I'm pretty sure... I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that we can, um... If a dragon... Okay, that's a dragon. Okay, that's definitely a dragon. You wanna pop my poop? I don't want my poop to be popped. I'm just gonna come back. Hello. I take less damage now. It's gonna make me banish a bunch of stuff, and I don't want to be banishing a whole bunch of stuff. But it's gonna be happening. Um, let's see. Three monsters from their deck. Alright, well... That's still going to be there, so I'm just gonna banish the junk forwards. And... I thought I had a third junk forward. Yep. Let's just banish our junk forwards. <coughs> no more forward junking for me. Two attacks on monsters. And I'll make him waste that thing in his graveyard, although it won't kill him. And then that'll be c c killed. So maybe I shouldn't have wasted my junk forwards. Although, again, if I get any monster... Plus a thing, I can make a thing and do a thing. And at least my spell traps aren't there, so he has nothing who can he can banish. He can who can hunk and uh hunk a hunk of burn and love. Let's see. Goblinberg. Summon the Dreisten. Hello, I am Dreisten. I occasionally become equipped with noble arms. Go away. Um, I don't think I can make any of my noble knights except for this one, and you don't want to make that one, I tell you what. Um, I could make plan B and prepare for an inevitable future, which I think is probably the best thing, because this could get over that, but it's not going to be able to get over any other things he can do. Um... Yep, unless he's got links. It's time to go into plan B. For Bagusk. And just hope he has all non-link monsters and he can't do anything to get over this. Or he doesn't top deck Raigeki. Because anything else is going to let me deal with one thing and nothing else. Yeah, like if I had made Utopia the Lightning, he could just summon this and then instantly pop it. He's probably going to try anyway. He seems like that kind of guy. Nope. All right. Hey, another mirror force. We'll set it just in case. And continue our stall. Can I come out of the stall? Probably not. Who can say? A rescue rabbit would be really nice. As always, although... Then I could just, what, make a Link 3? Alrighty then. Send all three for Nightmare Phoenix. 
send Baguska back and walk into a mirror force? No, he's just getting more things out. Hey, what is it, my birthday? Um. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to have to go into like a Link 3. That's the only way I can do anything. Because this is a Fiend, and I don't have any other good Link 2s. I done oofed myself. Um... Yeah, because the things will be destroyed. I could make summon sorceress, which could do nothing. I don't know why I summoned this. I'm dumb. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> um, hmm. Aren't really any other good Link 3s. Damn you, Master Rule 3. I should have said... Uh... And here I thought I had a good chance. The damn hand traps yet again. The hand trap meta is too strong. I can't resist myself against the hand trap meta. So let's just go ahead into the next thing. <laughs> And we return to Noble Knights continuing to lose things. How many hand traps will I get hit with this turn? More than enough, or just enough? Trick question, there's never enough. At least I've started to get my Mirror Force, which is the closest thing to a spicy tech I've gotten. Oh, uh, let's see though. We can probably do a thing or two. Or learn a thing or two. Um, we're actually going to get... Gwain, because this is a normal monster, and this is treated as a normal monster during certain situations. And we're going to summon out, of course... Oh, i got to choose first. And I've got none in hand. Good. Good. Making sure I don't mess up as little as possible. Brothers, draw me a card. Hope that I can get to something. One, two, three. Whoop. Um. Now that one has more tech, so we're going to normal summon this one. And since we've only got two cards in the graveyard and we've got a mirror force, I'm actually going to go ahead and just sit on Kustanen. Because if that's destroyed, then I can do some other stuff. And again, I think I said earlier, like, that's the crux of this deck. Like, make it annoying. You can't stop them, but you can make it so that you can go into something that floats. And then hopefully next turn you still have enough resources. Like, we could still make another Azolde and another Rank 4. Oh boy. All the trap cards. Unaffected by the effects of normal hole. Interesting. Mech Knight Trap Tricks? Mech Tricks? Yep, let's just get rid of that. Go away. We do not want you here. <laughs> you can't stop me from going slightly to the right! <laughs> I'll do whatever I want. Ooh, ah, e. Oogledy. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get rid of some of these traps. Make it less likely that he's going to kill me. On summon. Which he still might. Reckless greed, all right. Um, normal summon, Goblinburg, effect, bunny time, bunnies go away,
Network trap hole. Banish them face down. All right, well, all my rescue rabbits are now done for. Um, what do I have in the grave? A couple? All right, so he's got one more. Let's go ahead and send another four to the graveyard. That one might actually be useful this time. And, yeah, Kustanen. Useful. And then what we're going to do is use Excalibur in the graveyard to summon Arcturgus. And we'll equip him with this, and this, and one of these. Time space trap hole. I should have known. I should have known. And if I didn't know, I'd have a bone. Um. Hmm. Same type. Uh. Alright, I think I could still do this, unless I'm completely mistaken. Summon Sorceress. No, don't want to summon a theirs, but I can target a card I control and then summon one of the same type from my deck. No. Summon to my field. Its effects are negated, but that's fine. I can just use it to make this thing. Let's just equip, and equip, and equip. And we actually won! We actually did a thing, ladies and gentlemen. Mother of God. Sweet Jiminy. We had another extra summon, so we actually could have summoned this, and then special summoned that, and that would have been two... Three, four, five. Wait, no, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we might have been able to actually OTK him there. That would have been neat. So we beat Trap Tricks. This thing won't go down as the worst episode in history. Now, can we win the last two? I'm not very hopeful. <laughs> All right, here we are, ninth duel. Brought to you by Patreon sponsor twitch.tv slash tales09. A good old Twitch channel that does things on Twitch, presumably. And let's go ahead and grab one of these, actually. That'll be an interesting doodad. Because um, we can actually go a whole lot. Anytime you start with Gob Lindbergh into Rescue Rabbit, you've got a pretty decent amount of things that you can be summoning. Summon two Arcturuses. Summon a Gwen. And hopefully, if they get they get some more support that that gives them something better to go into, or maybe something that can't be negated or something. I don't really know how you fix noble knights specifically. Let's add another Gwen because this is a normal monster. And then we'll go and use those. But hopefully you can take this idea and make it better once better support comes out. At least that's my hope. Um, we'll do that and get the brothers so that we can draw. Because who doesn't like drawing? Comment in the comments if you don't like drawing. And then kindly leave. Show yourself out. Um, go ahead and put that back. And this and this. Hey, I like drawing cards. That's pretty neat. And we'll go ahead and just the same old play. Same time, different place. Equipping all the things. And let's go ahead and equip this to Isolde to make her slightly more difficult to deal with. And then we're set up. We've got this guy, can't be targeted, can't be destroyed. Big attack, big defense. Lots of things to choose from. And even if all this goes away, we could still, like, normal, special. We got this guy, which I only play one of. 
I'd planned to search him more, but we've never gotten the right hands where searching him is a proper thing to do. But he's got this cool effect where uh, you can send an equip card, or you can destroy an equip card to him, then destroy a monster your opponent controls, and then draw a card. But you can't attack that turn. So it's a nice way to gain advantage, but because he can't attack, it doesn't help you with OKK strategies. And he can't target him. He can only target her, and that'll just bring this onto him. Making Artorius, King of the Noble Knights, even more difficult to get rid of. Granted, he can run over my brother, which is rude, by the way. Not something you should do, but still something that could be done. We'll see what happens. We'll be back. <laughs> Alright, and he just ended on Spirit Dragon and a Glow-Up Bulb for some reason. Kind of weird. He used one for one to summon this out of the deck. Not really certain why that would happen, but it happened. Uh, what do we got left in the deck? That... All right, so I think what we're going to do, actually, is normal summon this. I'm going to activate this and destroy... Effect Veiler. Yeah, you can't target me. He could target this, or this. Which is it gonna be? What you gonna do? Everybody knows that you can't wear shoes. Alright, well, I'll just destroy this then. Just to reset the attack. Hello? Yeah, I was going to equip it to him and then use it to pop that, and I think I get the draw even if he tags out. Um, as it stands, we're just going to have to do... One of... I could make Utopia the Lightning. I think I'd rather use the actual Noble Knight stuff. Greetings and salutations! Just send those two back to the hand. Have a handy of a dandy old time. You can tag out for something. Fortunately, this isn't when it leaves the field. If this if this summons something when it left the field, this might actually be good. But it's only when it's destroyed. So if he goes into Black Rose Moonlight, he could take this out. Fortunately, though, if he goes into just about anything else, I think I... No, if he goes into Spirit Dragon, I can't get over him. Alrighty, then. I could make it though, day. That would be neat. Beep, 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 beep. Yep, 3,000 defense. All right. I'm going to take some damage. Just a wee bit. But when this is destroyed, I can summon something bigger, although it won't have enough... Uh... I don't think I have any other equip cards in the graveyard, do I? There's a way to look at... That's his graveyard. Where's my graveyard? One of the F buttons. That's my banish zone. There we go. Yeah, I have no other equip card, so there's actually not really any incentive for me to activate that effect. Um, although it will let me... And think about this. So destroy. That can't attack. So that will get over it, and then... Okay, yeah, we'll try this. We're gonna summon Big Artorgus. In defense mode. Because he'll either move this into attack position and then I'll be able to kill it. Or he'll just run over this with that. I'll get the summon out of the grave. And that'll let me get brothers who will let me reset everything and establish stuff for next turn when I can actually make a big huge push. Like delivering a baby. Just a big noble knight's baby. This guy's much cooler looking. He's got two, he wields two broadswords. Yeah, how strong you gotta be to do that one. Although this sword's really weird. We were talking about this on stream when I was making these sleeves. I, uh, I make the sleeves on stream. If you didn't know, check it out. Twitch.tv slash Gaming. But I was like, this sword has got like two little points on it. 
Like, would that would that help? Like, no, if you slashed, it would be much more brittle, so it would break. And if you tried to stab someone with it, like a, a thrusting stab, because it's uh, distributed across two points, it's less likely to break armor and less likely to go deep. So it's just all around, just like a worse sword. Like, it just looks cool, but doesn't actually improve anything. But it's okay, that's why he's got two swords. I'm guessing it's magical in some way. Uh-oh, I didn't think he could do that. No! Don't banish my spell cards. I need those. Especially not this one. This is my favorite one. Okay, he went for that one. Not knowing that this can't be destroyed. Maybe he'll try to destroy it twice? I don't know. We'll see. It's a oh, okay, he went into attack mode. Um. Alright, not destroyed. Then he'll destroy it. And then this will equip to him, so he didn't plan correctly. Which means I won't get my brothers, but that's fine. Because this can detach to destroy. And I believe he's able to be destroyed now. Hey, and I drew my brothers anyway. Um, and I've got that, so let me think about this for a second. What I want to do... Okay, so first of all, get rid of the one with the highest attack. Boom. Next, we're going to Brothers and get these two. Yo, that's some big shit, I tell you what. Um, Boral? No, I'm stuck. Um, let's see, let's shuffle this. And this, and this back. Just reset our whole extra deck. Can you stop that? Alright. That seemed like a weird thing to Ash. But that's fine, because I believe I still have copies of... Two of those three. Okay, yeah, we're good. So we're actually going to... Get rid of these two. Um, all sorts of effects. Oh, if it's sent to the graveyard at all, alright. And let's just protect as old. And we got our brothers back, hey. I like my brothers. Comment in the comments if you have a brother that you like or hate. Um, let's try that again. Yay! I drew the card. I opened up my card and drew the card. Okay, and then... All the equipped cards. Summon out. I don't even have any noble knights in my hand. But let's get Dreisten. Why not? Then I can... I believe this will OTK. Let's put this here. I like the way his sword's out. He's like, Hello! I've come to send you back to the deck. I hope you don't mind. And then we can use this to turn Kustanin back into this guy. This guy will equip some stuff to himself. And then we can make... I actually think I... Yeah, I think I'll sit on this now that I think about it. And I can't summon anymore. 
Because I'd only do 200 extra damage, and unless he's going to be alive by 200 damage, probably not worth. Rather just have a couple backups, essentially. Yeah, because then, oh, I'm stuck to Noble Knight, so I have Recite. Now he has more things to get rid of. Which, again, is not... This it's, it's really kind of an old-school ideal, because nowadays what you want to do is make either something that can stop your opponent from destroying your board, or you want to make a monster that's so difficult to get rid of your opponent has to get a whole bunch of resources into doing it. The idea of just, like, putting so much on board that they have to, like, work to get around it is not really a thing you see all the that much. Oh, great, he has Return of the Dragon Lords now. Sadness. Sadness is a place I exist in. And he's gonna pop that. Good, yes. Um. Alright, this, this, and this. Uh, monster to special summon. This guy. This will equip, equip to Dreisten. This will equip to also Dreisten. And that'll pop that. So now you can't synchro the way you hoped you could. So yeah, I'm glad I got to see a little bit of... Now, even if I end up losing this one because he Raigekis or something. Just the fact you could see, like, I've got something that he has to get rid of because otherwise it's going to destroy him. But by getting rid of it, he causes all these to come back, which triggers Dreisten, which gets rid of that. And now I have this... So yeah, he, he goes ahead and surrenders. So at least we got one win. It took it took several duels of losing to to uh to bad misplays and nonsense. But at least something happened. So let's go ahead into the tenth duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, tenth and final duel, which actually has a very special, very interesting sponsor, but I'm gonna save that till the end of the duel. Because it's actually, someone has, has had me, has requested that I give a shout-out that is far more serious than the shout-outs I normally give out. Um, and let me think about this. What can do? Can cook egg, maybe? Perhaps? We can... I can just make a rank four, and that's about it. Um... Now, at least this way, I'll have more stuff that I can I can do. Okay, so what we're going to do... Activate the most useless one on Madrat. Madrat will summon out... We'll do Kustanin, just in case. Destroy this. Don't want to equip it, because there's not really any need to, because in a second, it's going to make Isolde. And we'll just search something that will be useful. Let's go ahead. Where is our horsey man? There we go. Pelinor. We'll get that because we have extras in hand, so we'll be able to use them. And then, at this point, all we can really do is summon out... Let's see. Dupe, 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 and... Yeah, we might want to save this one, so we'll do that. And we'll get a brother. Brother from another mother. Equip, and let's go ahead. Send these two, and... This one back. Because I already have a copy of it. Draw a card, but it's junk forward, so we can't take advantage of that extra summon. Because the only noble knight we have is this one. But that's fine. I'm actually going to put this on... Brothers... And we'll save this, because we can put it on Pelinor or whatever we want next turn. So, kind of a bad opening. Again, like in a casual deck, like, you know, I, I started with five cards, I end with four cards. So I only used one card and got three cards on the field. You go plus, it's just that the plus doesn't really help you that much. Against six Samurais, though, we might actually stand a chance... Because all they have access to is destruction, as far as I know. Which means this will actually be useful. 
and the 2400 defense is actually going to be kind of difficult for them to get over. Unless this is kind of some kind of Link Six Samurais, which I would not be surprised. Maybe using the new Ninja Monsters. Ninja Samurais? Ooh, MX Saber Invoker, okay. This guy means serious business. You know what, we're just going to fast forward through his combos, and we'll be back when he's done doing some things and stuff. Rolling around at the speed of sound Got places to go, got to follow my rainbow Can't stick around, have to keep moving on Just what lies ahead, only one way to find out Most keep on moving ahead No time for guessing, follow my plan instead Trusting in what you can see Take my lead, I'll set you free Follow me, set me free Trust me and we will escape from the city I'll make it through, follow Alright, well he went, he went pretty plus But he didn't manage to actually do much of anything He definitely went more plus than me though He's got a whole bunch of shit, but he couldn't break through him a wall. Although I believe this can, like, tribute another one to destroy the other one, so he could probably clear out my field. Although at this point, that would almost be welcomed, because then I could junk forward. Well, either way, I either junk forward or I could draw a card. You making, a, you making an extra link? I must say, though, I underestimated uh, Six Samurai's ability to link and just spam and draw. He's gone through, like, half of his deck with a Zolde and bamboo swords and stuff. Also, couldn't he have summoned that? But it came back. It just keeps coming back, baby, every single time. Am I, am I going to get extra linked with six samurais? Doesn't seem likely. I believe he hasn't used the special summon with this yet. He just gave up soul charge? You definitely could have extra linked if you had used soul charge. Oh, great. Gateway of the six. Alright, well, I think he might time himself out now. So again, we'll fast forward again and see what happens. And he surrendered for some reason. He just gave up. But you know what? It's Noble Knights. I'm taking whatever win I can get. We did not do all that well, but I'll save that for the end screen. For now, as I said, I actually have a fairly important kind of uh, shout-out to give. It's uh, The man has joined the Patreon recently named Ernest who works at the Edward Pierce Center for Autism. And he has donated the $25 to give his workplace a shout-out. Uh, they're, they're a facility in Arlington, Texas, that helps both children and adults with autism, as well as their caretakers, their parents and such. And they've started a Patreon in order to get a little extra money to just sort of help them out, to help out their cause. So whether you know someone with autism, or maybe you just want to help out in general, they have patreon.com slash EPCA. I just wanted to get the word out. Any donations are helpful. And of course, they have rewards and stuff, as most Patreons do. So if you're interested at all, check that out. Otherwise, let's just go to the end screen. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Noble Knight Toolbox. We only went 4 and 6. A disappointing showing. I was really hoping we could get to 5 and 5. But it, it is Noble Knight's. They, they really do lack any kind of negation, any kind of real powerful OTK ability. I did the best I could, and hopefully if you're curious with Noble Knights, you learned a little bit about how they can play, what their limitations are, and maybe this will help you build in the future. Maybe you can take some of my ideas and improve upon them. Either way, I hope you enjoyed. You know, you can't win them all. It's good to play a deck that's maybe not so good. And uh, next week, we're probably going to be continuing that. I've been looking at Slash Draw. I'm hoping to make a Slash Draw Turbo deck. Uh, again, if you're not familiar, I test these on Saturday nights on Twitch, twitch.tv slash hardleggaming. So if you're interested at all in the What a Deck, if you're not getting enough for it, 
Come to the streams, hang out, it'll be a fun time. I'm going to try the slash draw thing, and if that doesn't work, who knows? I got a couple Patreon requests I need to check out. Maybe Chris Strawn's in the future, ooh. So either way, I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, good luck, and have fun. <laughs> <laughs>